Good day, everyone. Oops, not day. We're in the darkness. How's business been this week? Are you feeling like it's kind of in the darkness? Are you feeling like you're in the darkness? <sighs> kind of be, kind of uncomfortable, isn't it? But there's that little light. Oh yeah, there's that little light that can shine. And that's what we gotta look for. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's Chris. Back at you with another one. Another Mind Your Business. Uh, I was in there minding my business. I'm out here in the nighttime tonight. It's feeling real good. Um, I love that nighttime feeling. You know, you can hear nature at its at its peak. In the daytime, you can't really hear it. So it's, it's a bit of serenity. It makes me feel a little calm, you know, from a, um, an uncomfortable week, if you want to say. Um, how's your week? I hope your week has been uh, elevating. I hope it's been prosperous and productive because um, that's what we're in business for. That's what we're uh, working for at a job, and that's what we're living for, right? Uh, but, you know, I was in, in, in their mind of my business. I woke up. I took a little nap today. Um, I had to reschedule something this morning. Uh, a quick job, and then... Uh, another lady I went to do a job, but she wasn't really, you know, had it, didn't have everything together, so we had to reschedule that. So that's pretty much how my day went for uh, two jobs today. But uh, in that, um, I started feeling a little discouraged, right? Uh, not even discouraged. I don't like to use that word. Yeah, discouraged. It's okay to use that word. Um, just in the overall perception of business, you know. And I think we all go through that. Do we all go through that? Is anyone out there with me? Or maybe it's just me, so I'm just, that's why I'm sharing. So, um, you know, just starting to feel a little down about, or not down, just um, uncomfortable about business and how it's going at the time, right? So, you know, um, I said, hey, let me go out here and just do a, do a recording on how I really feel about going on in business and how I'm feeling because it was uncomfortable but then I took a nap earlier right and then I woke up and it was like a refreshing hey it's not that bad I gotta do something about it yeah I can't just sit around and let this thing oh no I'm about to do something about this alright so Decided to come out here. I was feeling good at nighttime. Share my thoughts with you all about about the uncomfortable feeling of your business not really going the way we want it to go, right? Um, or life, you know, job, or whatever. You know, a lot of times we are in that uncomfortable uh, feeling. Uh, for me, um, you know, I've, I've kind of learned how to just embrace that feeling. You know. Embrace the uncomfortable feeling, you know what I mean? Bills, emergencies, leisure time, bills. They don't never stop. They just keep coming and coming. Oh, my dog is sick. Oh, my child is sick. My baby is sick. My engine just stopped. to the best of us all the time but what I've learned to do is to embrace that right to embrace that very uncomfortable feeling that I actually felt today tonight you know, earlier today and tonight I'm feeling great because well I'm not gonna say great but I am feeling great right now and that's just me because after I got a little rest and I woke up I said to myself Keep it moving. You got to continue to strive to put your business, to put your job, to get the job, or to put your life in the light of how you want it, right? You can't go for the, the defeat. You know? So, just decided to come out here and just talk about, you know, embracing 
the uncomfortable feelings. You know, the feeling of uncertainty. You know, um, the feeling of everyone around you is doing much better. Seemingly. And why, how come I can't get it together? Why, how come my businesses are flourishing? times, you know, we start to, you know, look at other people and we say, hey, their business is seemingly doing how I want my business to do. I wish my business was doing like, like that, right? Oh, wow. That's a nice car. I want a car like that. Why can't I have a car? Then you have to ask yourself, why do you want these things? That's a whole nother story. But just looking out and, and, and seeing other seemingly productive or better situations than yours could sometimes make us feel a little discouraged or a little down about our situations, you know? And, uh, you know, I kind of felt that earlier, but then after I took a nap and I woke up, felt rested. You, know, you get that rest so the, so, the, so the chemicals in that brain can kind of balance itself back out. And then uh, I say, hey, you know, you see the sink or swim. You know, I can't just sit around and not do anything about this feeling. That feeling is there for a reason. It's in front of you. It's not gonna go anywhere until you face it or you run from it, right? And so, sink or swim, you're gonna face it, embrace it, and chase it. Huh? Make it become a part of you. That's what I'm doing. I'm allowing the, the uncomfortable feeling, huh? The feeling of uncertainty to become part of my experience. See? You see how that light just went out? That's what I'm talking about. Everything is going well, right? And then bam, the light cuts out. <laughs> now that's business and that's life. Oh man, everything is just so great, everybody. I mean, I had a great week. I made $4,500 this week. I bought me some new shoes. My girlfriend's happy. The children are doing very well. My dog did a trick that I've been trying to teach them for everything. It's just so great. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is, this is for celebration right here. It's for celebration. This for. Hey, y'all, hold on. It's got to be some more good news. Hello? Hello? You say fixing the roof is going to cause... All the money gone, y'all. They got to fix my roof. But guess what? look towards the smaller light. That is what is in you. That small light that's in the darkness. Huh? That's what I grabbed on when I woke up this morning. I mean, not this morning, seemingly morning, but I woke up this night. Don't you just love nature? Just listen to that. But yeah, I looked... I looked towards that little light and I said to myself, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> and voila, a whole new brightness came to make me realize that, hey, with, I'm going to embrace what I already have. And I'm going to embrace the darkness that comes. I'm going to definitely embrace the darkness. 
and I'm going to embrace the, the uncomfortable feeling. Why? Because it's there. Huh? It's, you, you think it's not supposed to be there? Oh, you think, you think it's supposed to just be peaches and creams? I don't even like peaches and cream. So you think it's supposed to be chocolate and vanilla? It's really not how it works. For some people, it works that way. You know, some people, you know, some people actually have people to come and save them. You know, and usually those are like close type of people, family, uh, close to the relative type of you know relationships. You know, most of the time, that's that's how that is. You know, it's more of like a networking thing. But I'm speaking to those out there who feel as if they don't have anyone. Because that's how I felt. Case in point, uh, it was a guy t uh, back in 2007. Man, I was working in a hot sweat box in his laundry. I'm slinging cotton everywhere. It's it's a sweat box in that laundry. I tell you, I mean, I, before I worked in the laundry, I don't mean to get off the subject. I used to walk past the laundry in the hotel industry, and I used to dread even going in there. I finally stopped working in there because I needed a job. And sometimes you need a job. You know? We all need something comes up. So start working in the sweat box and I'm in there working and actually I embrace that. It's one thing I always did. I always embraced the challenge. I didn't embrace it. I wasn't comfortable but I did. Right? So went in there, took over the laundry, everyone is um, you know, oh, oh, oh he's so ad admirable, I'm a hero. Okay. Went in there and then this guy came in and he saw how I was working. He said, hey, man, you need to start your own business. I said, well, by golly, I should start my own business. You're not telling the story. So then I see, he walked around. He said, the way that you're working and as hard as you're working, you definitely should start your own business. Man. He said, you should start your own laundry. Man. I was like, oh. Now, at the time, that very much seemed impossible. But since I've been in business, nothing's impossible. But anyway, at the time I was like, wow, you know, but at the time he was doing the, he was doing the carpets in the, in the hotel and I was uh, periodically doing the carpets in the same hotel, but he was contracted out by the hotel. So when I saw that, I said, wow, that's something I would like to do is be a person who comes in and clean the carpets only and don't have to sling cotton all around. So, which is towels, of course, and not, not the cotton, but I was slinging towels drying them and washing them and the sheets and stuff and that thing. So he said, I said, well, you know, I want to do what he was doing. Fast forward it, 10 years later, I see him at the job that I'm working at 10 years later, right? In another hotel. But I had started my business. This was like three years ago. I started my business. So I thought I would share with him, hey, I remember you. Back then, you told me to start my business, and guess what, man? I started my own business. I'm doing the same thing you were doing. You're doing now. When you told me ten years ago I should start my business, I did it. Almost, I'm saying thanks to you, I started my business. Now, right then and there, I wanted to start networking. You know, I wanted to uh, kind of build a rapport with them. You know, to say, hey, I remember you from back then. You gave me a jewel. Meaning, you gave me a little knowledge. Not even that. Not even knowledge. I can't say it. It's the wrong word. You just really reminded me or confirmed to me what was already within me is to start my own business, right? And you're doing exactly what I was thinking of doing is cleaning floors, carpets away, right? So uh, 10 years later, I see him in another hotel. I let him know that. So we started talking. You know, I'm listening. Right now, I'm trying to get everything I can because he's been in the game for 30 years. He's telling me he's a millionaire. You know, people are telling me he's a millionaire, so I'm trying to soak in all this. But for some reason, he did not give me exactly what I was thinking I needed, right? I want to learn how can I be like you, period. And you can tell me. I know you can. You can tell me how to be like you because you are you, Right? How come people just, I could, no matter what, he would not tell me what I thought I needed to know, which was, this is how you can make more money.
go down to this hotel and talk to him. Go over there and talk to him. As a matter of fact, sit down, let me talk to you and tell you this. That's what I was expecting. The conversation was about everything else but that. And then when it started drifting to that, because you know me, I'm going to ask all the questions. The conversation ended. I really kind of felt let down at that moment. Right? Because I was like, wow, this guy, you know, he kind of inspired my desire to start a carpet cleaning service or cleaning service and then 10 years later it's like that's it yeah I don't really remember you but good luck so it came to me then you know what I said I said well hey for me it seems like maybe I just have to do this on my own you know it seems as if, and it's not true, but it, this, it seems as if most people that I went to for answers or for direction, it was a catch-22, right? Am I alone in this or what? Is it just me? I mean, am I the one right now who just feel this way? So anyway, I said, okay, Chris, you have to become your own hero. No one's going to save you. <laughs> we look for people to save us, right? But truly, does anyone really want to be saved or do you really want to save yourself? Huh? How much more rewarding is that? A helping hand is always needed. A helping hand is always appreciated. But sometimes there's no helping hand, right? Come on now. I know some of you got help out there. That's cool. And, and, and you should be grateful for that. Be grateful for the help that you get. But for the people out there who seem like you're on your own, you are and then you're not because there's a lot of people going through the same thing and I can attest I'm one but what I've done is I've learned to embrace I've learned to embrace the darkness I've learned to embrace the uncomfortable feeling of uncertainty to embrace <clears throat> everything that's set before me because it's before me and if that is before you in your life, business job or whatever that sense of not knowing that sense of wanting to give up that sense of why I can't you, do you get it? huh? why I can't get that better job How come I keep trying and as soon as I get there, it gets dark. Right? Oh. Cut back on, says me. Oh. Hold on. The light has a mind of its own. Sometimes you can't control the light. See? You just have to take it as it comes reassess yourself and go for it again hmm? because as long as you are trying and searching an answer will come even if it's the answer you don't want and even if it's the answer that you don't want Embrace that and then question that and then see 
if there is another way. Hmm? Where there's a will, there's a way. Right? Well, one person's will may, might be, may not be for another person's way. So you know how I say we always got to go within and find that light from within and figure it out and be true to yourself. Don't be in a fantasy world. You know, we all, it's okay. Dream is good. Dreaming is great. Right? But how can we make that dream a reality? That comes from within. Yeah. Easier said than done, I know. But what I mean is embracing what is before you and going at it with all intentions of swimming or succeeding it. Not giving up. Not giving up. And yes, of course, it is good to be surrounded and surround yourself by you know, with, with people, but that's easier said than done also. Because most of us are so caught up into everyday swimming, trying not to sink. Right? So for the people out there who don't have that surrounding cast or sometimes you may be surrounded by a cast that is not as supporting hey you gotta be your own hero you gotta depend on self huh? and you depend on self a lot of times help will come a lot of times that answer will come even if it's the answer you don't want, it's still worth knowing the truth, right? Embracing what's before you, that uncomfortable, uncertain feeling in business, in life. I just thought I would share that with you all tonight. It's a beautiful night tonight. Um, on a late night hike with minding my business. Um, I hope you all continue to mind your business, which is you and everything about you. And uh, keep your head up. Keep strong, you know. And guess what? You made it this far. It's going to keep on making it. All right, y'all, this is Chris. I'm out. I care about y'all. Y'all keep your head up. Peace.